my little song. I decided to have a theme song to run through this thing. We're down to number 49 out of 153 things you must do. The conk honk. Aspiring musicians can test their skill on the conch shell. That's pronounced conch, even though it's spelled C-O-N-C-H. At the annual conch shell blowing contest in the garden of the oldest house museum, free to enter and watch. Those lacking instruments can purchase conch shells on site. Trophies are awarded in four categories, with judging based on the quality, duration, loudness, and novelty of the sounds produced. Key West's connection with the hardy sea mollusk goes far beyond instrumental uses of its fluted pink lined shell. Native born residents refer to themselves as conks, and if you lived in Key West for a seven year duration, 23, 25, you can call yourself a freshwater conk. Uniquely painted and decorated cars, scooters, and bikes are affectionately referred to as conk cruisers. The high school team here in Key West is called the Conks. Conk chowder and conk fritters are traditional island dishes. Uh, yeah, if you can find them. And the two-story wooden gingerbread houses in the historic Old Town District are called conk houses. In 1982, the Florida Keys and Key West proclaimed themselves the Conk Republic, and the shell remains an enduring symbol of the island chain. So here you can see some people blowing. Look at this sweet little thing blowing in one. But it is a contest. Everybody gets together and they just start blowing in the conch shells. They're not melodic. All right, that's number uh, 49. Tomorrow will be 48. The Tropical Forest and Botanical Garden, which is special to me because it's six days. My daughter's marrying a police lieutenant from Key West there. So we'll talk about that tomorrow.